human, we can rebuild him. We have the technology. Better. Stronger. Faster. What up, YouTube? Capital G here. Haven't made a video in a bit. Um, really hasn't been anything that interesting in Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, over the last couple weeks, so... You know, I've just been chilling, watching my baseball playoffs, messing around with my fantasy football team. 5-1, by the way. Okay, so anyways, the new set, um, Storm of Ragnarok, that's the set that comes after Star Shark Bass. Um, it actually has a, a bunch of really good cards. Um, most notably, the ones we've just found out about support these guys right here. And uh, <laughs> if you guys have played Six Samurai, I mean, you know that they've kind of fallen off the map and they haven't been competitive. But this set has like five or six really good support cards. Um, not to mention, six samurai are getting a synchro and a couple of tuners, so they will be like evolving. They can actually start hanging with the other decks now. And um, I don't know, I've always thought of six samurai post like Duelist Genesis. Um, it's like black wings are what six samurai wish they were. And you know, they just, they can't synchro and they have hard times face beating down monsters like Stardust and shit like that. But I think this new support will definitely help them out. And um, I think Gateway is about to be broken as shit. So, uh, first off, we'll start with um, Six Samurai Kaizen. And as I say these cards, obviously, I'll post like a little picture like I did in uh, the video I had on Robbie's channel. Um, I'll, obviously, you know, all Six Samurais are warriors. Um, kind of sucks that road is restricted, but, you know, whatever. Um, he's Earth, level 4, 1800 attack, 500 defense. Um, if you control another six samurai other than uh, Kaizen, you can special summon this card from your hand. While you control two or more face up six samurai, it gains 300 attack. So obviously, you can see that the effect is much like Grandmaster, and uh, it's kind of interesting because the new cards, as they're called, true six samurai, they actually resemble um, the new six samurai or the old school six samurai cards from uh, was it Strike of uh, Neos. And I guess that's supposed to be because they're supposed to be the older versions. It's kind of like a reverse or whatever. This one kind of looks like Grandmaster. And this card is kind of just going to be the new Grandmaster. Um, it it just gives the, the deck a lot more plays with, with Gateway. Um, for instance, Gateway was an amazing card. But the problem with Gateway was if you didn't have Grandmaster, you couldn't really maximize its potential as the other cards couldn't really be summoned. And, you know, you just summon a bottom machine and you kind of fucked but now you can just have like one of these guys and you can just summon it. Then you can summon Kaizen and then bam, you've got um, you've got your four Bushido counters right there and you can just search Grandmaster from your deck. Um, so I think this card is going to be like super important to the deck. I think all Samurai decks are going to run three and this is going to be a card that breathes new life into the deck um, all by itself to be completely honest. This card is just going to... It's going to make Gateway so much better because um, now you don't have to have Grandmaster to make Gateway, uh, to make your Gateway plays really good. Um, we've got the second card, True Six Samurai Shanai. Um, it's a water. It's level 3, 1500 defense, 1500 attack. If you control a face-up True Six Samurai um, Mizuho, which probably butchered that, uh, you can special summon this card by tributing this card. You can add one samurai other than six samurai shunai to your hand. Um, so that's really good. It can get you back Grandmaster. It can get you back Kaizen. Um, basically, I look at this card as uh, basically just a way to recycle Kaizen and Grandmaster. Um, I mean, there there actually is an OTK or an FTK too with um, Shanai and, um, and Mizuho requiring mass driver but i really don't know if i can see that being competitive because not only do you have to run a samurai deck but then you have to run mass drivers and stuff like that but um i don't know this card is really good it has a pretty good defense i mean 1500 1500 um, that's pretty noteworthy i think so but the main uses are just with um, mizuho because you can special summon it then so obviously you special summon it good plays with gateway and uh you know you can add grandmaster or uh Kaizen back to your hand to get even more counters on your um on your gateway. And then uh, speaking of uh, Mizuho, we've got six true six samurai Mizuho. Um, fire, level three, 1600, um, 1000. Um, I like this card. Uh, if you control a face up six samurai Shonai, um, you can special summon this card from your hand. Once per turn, you contribute one six samurai other than this card to select one card on the field and destroy it. Okay, so 
basically this card just makes hand of the six samurai like completely worthless like if you have a hand of six samurai you can just like wipe your ass with that shit because it's not <laughs> it's completely irrelevant now because not only does this card have the same exact stats but you can special summon it so right off the top it makes it makes hand obsolete right off the top this card can also target uh, magic or traps. And actually, there's a loop if you have two gateways and you have Mizuho and um, Shanai, you can actually blow up every single card on your opponent's field. You can just like keep bouncing them back and forth and like tributing them. So um, it's really nice. Uh, I mean, it's it's a card that I see people running maybe a couple copies of. I mean, just it blows shit up. Back rows, uh, monsters, synchros that you don't that aren't Stardust, pretty good. Um, True Six Samurai Kagaki, um, Wind 2000 Defense, uh, 200 Defense, or 200 Attack. Um, when this card is Normal Summon, you can Special Summon a Six Samurai level 4 or lower from your hand. Um, and if you control another Six Samurai, this card gains 1500 Attack. So, it, that actually should sound kind of familiar, like... <laughs> They should have just named it Six Samurai Bogart Knight, you know, because that's that's like exactly what Bogart Knight is, right? You just it special summons a card with its normal summon. Um, it's got two thousand defense. I kind of like that. Um, what I do like about this is it can make really this card. Maybe if you want like one copy, it can make your really bad hands playable because uh, let's say you have that card and you have like Zanji or whatever and. Your opponent only has a, like one monster. It's like late game or something. You could special summon this little fake Bogart Knight thing. You can special summon another one. And then if you have United, then it's like, bam, you can draw two. Or if you have Gateway, well, now you can instantly dig into your deck for Grandmaster. We've got True Six Samurai Anishi. Um, Anishi was obviously the, um, you know, Sheen's counselor. Anishi was like the kind of Chaos Sorcerer-ish uh, card. This one is once per turn, if you control another six samurai, um, you can remove from play two six samurai from your graveyard to return one face up monster to its uh, owner's hand. Um, here's the kicker about this effect. It's kind of just like an Ishii, but they had to water it down a little bit because you can just normal summon this guy. Or Here's the kicker about this guy's effect. You can use it on either player's turn. Like, is that amazing or what? Um, what I like is it's an out to any synchro. First off, that's really good. And, um, I mean, people obviously can't synchro if this card is face up on your field because they, that would be a negative one if they tried to synchro. You could just use this guy's effect and boot that synchro right back. Um, if you control two other six samurais, this card also gains 500 attacking defense. So, uh, it has the same stats as the big Anishi, but, I mean, you might not always have that. But, still, that effect is really nice. You can summon it, remove something, it gets the evac effect, and you can just... You know, push in for a little damage, and they can't really counter using synchro, so that's always pretty nice. And then we get to the um, the two tuners. First is Kagamusha of the uh, Six Samurai, and this card is kind of janky. It's a it's Earth. It's a tuner. It's four hundred attack, eighteen hundred defense, and a uh, when a Six Samurai you control is targeted by a monster trap or um, spell, basically you can just change it to to Kagamushi, which is I mean, it's like black, like other than Book of Moon or like Deep Prison, I really can't think of anything that it's like that would be worth using that. Maybe a Raiko. Yeah, I guess a Raiko or Caius, that would be kind of decent, you know, but I mean, it's just like a janky little tuner. They might want one copy just so they can Secret Summon. And then you've got the second tuner, which is uh, Sheen's Yoroki. Um, that's Earth, level 1, 300, attack, 700, defense. Um, and it's kind of like a weird cross between Honest and Necro Gardener. Um, basically, the gist of if a samurai you control battles, you can discard this card so that it can't be destroyed in battle that turn. So it's just like, I don't know what to make of that card. And it's not a samurai either, so that kind of sucks. you know. And then you have the big guy, the Synchro. Um, this Synchro is actually really amazing. Um, it's True Six Samurai Sheen, so it's like a crossover. It's I guess it's Sheen before he came before he became a Shogun. It's dark because all good Yu-Gi-Oh cards are dark, of course. They had to make it dark instead of fire. Um, Twenty-five fourteen um, for the stats. It's level five, which is pretty nice. The level five with twenty-five hundred attack. Uh, that's that's pretty good in my opinion. Um, and it's once per turn. If when your opponent activates a spell or trap, you can negate the activation and destroy that card. 
Um, so that's really good because sometimes your opponent can, you know, bait out the other sheen and just kind of fuck you over. But um, this one, you get to pick and choose which one you want, which one you want to negate. So I really like that. Um, and then also, if it's if it would be destroyed, then you can activate its effect, which is just to destroy something else. Destroy another samurai, and you can keep, you can keep that card alive. Okay, so um, what the overall think about the samurais? I think I think samurais are going to be potentially a tier one deck. Um, I mean, I obviously would have to play test them and stuff like that. But if I if I just had to go out on a limb with the support they have, I mean, they got a new synchro, which is amazing. They've got speed upon speed because they're basically getting a second grandmaster. Um, Gateway is just going to be insane now because it's, it's going to be so easy to go from from zero to six so easily. So uh, tell me what you think. If you think six samurais are going to be overhyped, bad, I think they're going to be really playable. And it's good to see that Konami is continuing to support older sets. Maybe, uh, you know, we'll get like, I don't know, some Dark Scorpion support or something like that. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys.